so if you've watched the channel, you've heard the podcast, or hopefully you've downloaded the podcast, uh, Kayak Flyer. I'm the main host of the show, uh, Sean, and Mark Usick was supposed to be on a couple of weeks ago, and his internet connection wasn't good enough, and so Adam and I just sat and jammed for a while, and one of the things that I wanted to talk to Mark about was his new vlog, um, The Marginal Fly Fisherman. If you don't know Mark or haven't read Mark's books, you really need to do that. Um, Reflections of a Fly Rod and Carper Jerks, you can find both of them easily. Um, you can find Mars, Mark uh, Usyk, U-S-Y-K, I believe is how Mark spells his last name. I always get it wrong. Um, but you can find his books. They're on most of the major online booksellers, or you can even reach out to him through jpross.com and um, find his books there, and you can probably get a signed copy if you go through J.P. Ross and check it out. Um, and don't bother my little wiener dog back there over my shoulder. She's uh, obviously tearing something up, which she probably shouldn't be doing, but that's the nature of a crossbreed mutt that has a little bit of wiener dog in them. So as I've been following Mark's adventures, he's got, as of today, seven uh, vlogs out. I kind of thought it might be interesting to uh, try one of these and just see what kind of response there was. Really just wanted to sit down and uh, without sponsorship, without plugging anybody that's, you know, helping support the show, just sort of have an honest conversation and, and hopefully get some things to talk about with you guys on and off the podcast, you know, via on the podcast or through this vlog that I'm simply going to try for the first time. Um, one of the things that I wanted to talk about was trips you don't want to go on. Last year, I went on my annual redfish fishing trip. Um, financially, last year was not a uh, year that would have been great for me to go and blow a lot of money. And every year that we go on the fishing trip, we normally go on a uh, guided service while we're down there. It's not that expensive, it's just more than I wanted to spend, and two of the guys wanted to go. One of the guys didn't seem to want to go, and it was sort of like I was the deciding vote, and I said, well, you three work it out, and whatever you decide, uh, we got some early May bugs here, I said, I'll decide. I'll do with whatever the three of you want to do. <clears throat> well, they wound up deciding to go. And uh, the guy who did not want to go did not catch a fish, and I felt really shitty for that. Um, the other two caught bull reds, and I, of all things, caught um, one of my bucket list fish. Um, I caught a black tip shark. The thing was, even the guide was saying that's not a black tip. It, it felt like reeling in like a grouper or something. Or something. It felt like reeling in when I caught a sheep's head just felt like a tire on the end of the line. There was hardly any fight, and it really, it was a really bittersweet uh, effect. Uh, here I hook into a fish that I wanted to catch, and there was absolutely no fight to it, and it was simply drop, crank, lift, drop, crank, and lift, drop, crank, and lift, drop, crank, and lift, and, um, you know, guides won't let you bring those into the boat, which I don't blame them, you know, so there was picture one picture of part of the black tip and part of my face and that was the best that we got out of the whole thing and it was it was one of those where I'm not upset that I went on it um, it was entertaining um, it was neat to, to check that off but sometimes I think we set uh, goals in our life whether it be fishing or otherwise that when we achieve those they just didn't, for whatever reason, for whether it was that fish had a bad day, for whether the water was just too choppy and I, you know, I, I caught it and it was the boat was going up and down. I don't know. I, it just didn't fight like I had expected it to fight. It didn't fight as seen on TV. Um, but sometimes you have to realize that the expectation is more than the reality. And I think that's something that the, a lot of us don't think about. 
we, especially if you tie flies, you sit down with these grand hopes of becoming this great fly tier and being able to tie some of these flies. And at my age, with uh, my hands having been doing work at this number of years, you know, trout flies are out of the question. They're not something I can tie. I talk about it oftentimes on the show. I can't see and I can't really hold that small of material. Um, so I tie big bass flies and I'll find one and I'll think, you know, I'm going to tie this up and it's going to be great. And uh, the expectation does not meet reality. That being said, next year when I go back down, I'm going to go back down and hunt for that same species. I'm going to go back down and shark fish again, hoping for a shark hoping for a bull red, hoping we all get a bull red and we all get whatever else we want. Um, so in October, I'll be back down in Louisiana somewhere. Um, that's just one of the things that I want to do. Um, and so I think that when we stop looking for reason in the bucket list fish, or we stop looking for reason in... Um, or, or not reason, but we stop looking at that as being the reason to go and chase that fish, to go and say, I'm going to bring back a cooler full of spots or a cooler full of musky or a cooler full of walleye, whatever you're after, and you know, catch and release, whatever, just the idea of, I'm going to go down here to this place that's supposed to be great and I'm going to catch a ton of these on this fly that I tied and you, you do and it's not exactly what you thought it was going to be. I think a lot of us really need to sit back and, and evaluate what we look at as a bucket list fish or a bucket list trip because we build those things so high up in our head. Um, really right now um, with the way things have been going and the way things are, my bucket list trip is out to the river that I go to 12 or 15 times a year. That's my bucket list trip for this year. Hopefully I'll get it next weekend. If not, maybe the weekend after. Uh, get the kayak out on the water. You know, uh, drink a few beers. We'll have a few laughs with a couple of friends. Catch a few fish on some flies that I tied over the winter. And if not, bust out the damn spinning reel and throw something <laughs> soft and plasticky. I don't know. Um, but I think when we look too forward to some of these trips we're just going to burn ourselves in the long run. So I know Mark has been chasing brook trout early in the year. Um, if you haven't watched any of the marginal fly fishermen, you really should. He's a really good guy and he's got really great stories. Um, but he's a, he's a realist as well. And, and I think that having talked to him so many times and, and having him had been on the podcast, the audio only podcast of kayak flyer. Um, I've really gotten to know him in a certain way and, and I felt like I knew him before. And then watching his vlog, I sort of felt like I knew him even more. So I was kind of inspired to, uh, to try this and to sit down. And if, a listener wants to hear what it's like without the jokes, without the attempts to be funny, without the sponsorship, without the shameless plugging, you know. I thought this might be a nice way to do it. So, leave a comment, um, like and subscribe. We do some fly, to and fly tying tutorials. Um, we also do a lot of shameless plugs on this channel. So, um, Feel free to uh, watch or don't watch, whatever you feel viable. Um, we'll name this something along the lines of a vlog, or we'll, we'll label this in some way that you can tell this video is different from our normal content. Um, but let me know about your um, expectations. When have, when have your expectations not met, or when have the experiences not met the expectations, I guess I should say. And... Um, you know, uh, we'll look at some things we can talk about more in the future, but I was just uh, inspired today, um, a little bit windy, not well, lake effect, lake effect winds, so 
um, fly casting is kind of out of the question plus it's a, a nice day to be with the family um, nice day to throw the frisbee to the dog whenever she's not terrorizing the flower bed so anyway this is Sean from the uh, from kayak flyer be sure to uh, to listen to the podcast and uh, help us out whatever you can